Recently, I picked up a Canon R5C to serve as a B camera alongside my C70, which is what's filming me right now. I didn't have time to do much real testing with it before I needed to take it with me on a job, but now I'm back from Texas and I figured now is the time to get in some reps and do some informal tests at least with the footage. I went on a quick hike this morning with the R5C and the 24 to 105 millimeter F4 Canon RF lens. I didn't test every single recording format and codec that the camera records because there are just so many of them, but I did get a pretty good cross section, or at least that's what I was trying to do. I filmed in 12-bit 8K RAW, 10-bit XFAVC, long got, and just for fun, some 8-bit H.264 files. For these tests in post-production, I just applied Canon's C-Log3 to Rec. 709 utility LUT, just so it's, you know, even all the way across the board. And so here are the results of these tests. So what you just saw there was, you know, the high end, the 12 bit raw clips, middle of the road, 10 bit XFAPC, and then a couple of eight bit clips. I don't know if you could tell the difference on YouTube or anything. I would need to, you know, do a lot more pixel peeping to like really suss out the differences here. Which is to say, I think everything kind of looks good coming out of that camera, as long as you expose it right, which is great news. The middle of the road codec, the 10-bit long gop XFAVC, that's pretty much what I shoot everything in all the time. It's 160 megabits per second, uh, so I get like a ton of recording time for long interviews or uh, anything else that I'm recording, I can fit a ton of that onto my media. It grades really, really well, and so that's why I chose that 10-bit because it's kind of like my go-to. And then the two on the other sides, the you know, raw clips and then the 8-bit, I'm not gonna shoot raw. It just takes up way too much card space. There's no reason for me to shoot 8K at all. Nice to have, I guess, in like really specialty circumstances, but I don't see myself using it that often. And as far as the 8-bit footage that comes out of the R5C goes in these tests, I actually thought it held up pretty well against the 10-bit XFAVC and the 12-bit RAW. That being said, I'm not going to be shooting 8-bit footage anytime soon uh, just because all of the, you know, benefits that the 10-bit footage does give me. And like I said, I can record all day on these cards and it's totally fine. I'm not uh, scrounging for card space the way I would be if I needed to shoot things in RAW. So going forward, I think I'm gonna keep recording in the 10-bit XFAVC codec. There's no reason for me to bump it up to RAW. There's no reason for me to bump it down to 8-bit. And uh, that's exactly what I did with the rest of these clips that you're about to see now.